Welcome back to Girl Talk. We have been having a very fun time hanging out with the folks here at Cambridge Winery. We're at the Madison Tasting Room and now this is our opportunity to finally talk to the man who is, the man with a plan, right? This is Frank, <laughs> who is the so. owner. Yeah. <laughs> we hope he has a plan. Uh, we, the owner of Cambridge Winery and we've had such a wonderful time getting to getting cozy over at your event space and you've invited us here to your tasting room so thanks so much for doing that you're welcome it's glad okay. to have you so we're glad to be here now talk to us a little bit about this space if you would well this space has been open for about two years uh, we started out by just serving tastings and small plates and it's just kind of a place to kind of hang out we we can host small events here uh small up to about 60 people so that's oh wow that's that can be small yeah really sizable. pretty good size and this last summer we just built a deck uh around the outside oh. and so during the summer we can ha actually have another 30 people so we get up to 90 if wow. we wanted to, to fill the whole space uh but it's it's great for small uh family uh parties we've had bachelorette parties here we've had uh office parties those sort of things uh, and we do have uh, small plates that accompany the wine well, and of course we've got the same wine here as we do in Cambridge, so. Absolutely. You've stuff. imported it all the way from <laughs> yeah. Cambridge. Exactly. Too, yes. I like that, I like that. So how does the tasting room kind of compare to where we filmed Girl Talk before at the event center? Well, the event center is about a 10,000 square foot facility. We can host up to 300 people there. Wow. So this is a lot more small. Uh, it's, it's more intimate. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's more of a kind of a nightclub, if you will, uh, in a sense. We also have a full kitchen in Cambridge, and here we have a, a partial kitchen, I'll call it. We have the same small plate menus, but in Cambridge we will always feature uh, chef specials um, during, during the open hours there. Uh, we don't have that opportunity here unless somebody orders in advance. Of course, if we know what they want, we can bring it in. So um, the two spaces are complementary. One uh, in Madison, it's very convenient for our Madison customers. Right. If they're in the wine club, they can stop by and pick up their wine here. Uh, and of course, we have a, a great following in Cambridge as well. So uh, with either location, it's uh, hopefully one or the other is convenient for our customers. Both beautiful. Both beautiful. Yeah, I was yes. just going to say the wonderful ambiance has transitioned between both places. Great Absolutely. job. Well, thank you. You always seem to have new wines to tell us about. Have you released anything recently? Well, we've just released our Wisconsin red wines um, this this week, as a matter of fact. Just They're in time for winter, right? Just in time. Uh, we're pretty excited about them. Uh, they've been in the bottle for about four months. Uh, they're 2015, and there's two of them. One is Marquette and one is Petite Pearl. Uh, both of those varietals were developed in Minnesota, one by the University of Minnesota, the other by a oh, private cool. breeder. Um, the, the earliest released one was Marquette was released in 2006. So it's only been growing for 10 years, and it's only been making wine for the last five or six because it takes a few years for vines to mature. So Marquette is a varietal? It's a varietal. That, okay. And that's the name that the University of Minnesota gave it. Sure. The other Petite Pearl sounds like it should be white, but it's a red wine. Okay. Petite refers to the size of the fruit, which is very small. Sure. And tight clusters. Uh, 2015 was the first vintage year that we made wine in Wisconsin. And our Marquette and Petite Pearl both in 2015 were wonderful fruit. So, we're setting the bar very high. Uh, these wines are, <laughs> are drinking great. Uh, the Petite Pearl, we only have 20 cases. Uh, oh, so wow. it's, it's not yeah, a lot. Limited. It's very limited. Uh, we have plenty of the Marquette. Uh, Petite Pearl for, for 2016, we're able to source more fruit. So we'll have more in future years, but this year, Petite Pearl is relatively scarce. Excellent. Oh, wow. But it's really fun to say. It, it is. is. It, is. Petite Pearl. it just sounds it fancy, is. too. It so is. let's talk a little bit about, so that one's limited, so maybe a great one to get in and try now if you're interested. But talk to us a little bit about kind of some holiday ideas. So I know for folks at home, you're thinking about going to holiday parties, and it's always nice to bring a hostess gift. I think a bottle of wine is a great choice. It, it is. Told it, me, never show up to a party empty-handed. Yeah. And there you're you the coolest person at the party if you have a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so which ones are good that are kind of good pairings for food through the holidays? Well, the, the two red wines are great during December because they're, they're dry, um, they're fairly big, uh, they, they go well by, as standalone or with, with food. Uh, Wisconsin wines in general are more acidic than you know, California or, or French wines, mm -hmm. and so they, they like to go with food. Uh, they pair with, with anything. 
On the white side, we've got some that are dry and some that are sweeter, and so it'd be a matter of your own personal preferences and tastes, but they go great with a, uh, well, Thanksgiving was a wonderful time to have a white wine with, with turkey and sure. cranberry and those sort of things. Absolutely. Um, and so it kind of depends on the, the menu, if you will, uh, that you expect somebody to have, whether you go with a white or a red. What would you recommend, though, if you're trying to be safe? Trying to be safe. I'd, one of each. Yeah. I, okay. I'd, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good answer. <laughs> I'd bring one of each. We, we do have uh, white wines that are semi-sweet. They're kind of in the middle of the road so that if, some, if you don't know if they like sweeter or not. I personally was never a sweet wine fan, but I like our wine. So... Uh, they had to pass, the, you know, the Frank test before they came <laughs> sure. out on the shelf, and so I think you're safe going with one of the white wines, and if in the middle of the road would be fine. Uh, the red wines are a little bit unique, especially the Petite Pearl. If it's a gift to somebody, you know, you could give it to them and say, "Hey, not many of these around," and there won't be by the time oh, they get back here in the nice. store. I was thinking of keeping it to yourself because there's not <laughs> many around. You but one for them. You can Tis the season of giving. <laughs> oh, I love that. Nailed it. And so here at the tasting room, I know you mentioned that you guys have the small plates here and also some food over at your event center. I just want to touch on that one more time so people know if they are stopping by, if they've got something to munch on as well. Well, we, yeah, we always have you know, meat and cheese platters and hummus and those sort of things here yeah. that, that pair well with the tasting. Um, in Cambridge, we have more, of, uh, I won't call it a, a dinner, but we do have you know, entree-like okay. uh, special plates, uh, two or three each night that are available in addition to the small plates. So uh, if you've got a bigger appetite and you want to have a dinner, you can certainly make a dinner out of it. Uh, in both places, we can customize uh, the menu for an event. Uh, we, we have our first uh, wedding actually coming up this weekend uh, on site. And, and in their case, they actually have a reception somewhere else. So they're not going to have a dinner there, but they are going to have appetizers afterwards. So that's the kind of thing oh, yeah, where, sure. where we can customize for the event. It's nice that you have both spaces too, like you mentioned, for different size parties. Mm -hmm. But meat, cheese, and wine, I think that's Wisconsin for come on over. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. Zach Frank yeah. with Cambridge Winery. Thank you so much for having us here. Check out the Madison Tasting Room or book an event over in Cambridge. We appreciate you. We appreciate all of our guests for joining us today. And thank you so much for watching. Join us next time on Girl Talk.